Hello, and welcome to My Tiny Bottles, the project where I explore my grandmother's legacy of miniature liquor bottles one tiny bottle at a time. I'm your host, Tammy Coxon. Bottle number 12 is the Grand Liqueur de Sapin de Montjura from Denis at Clonger Distillery in Pontarlier, France. Pontarlier is more famous for the massive amounts of absinthe they made in the early 1900s, but they were also home to this unusual liqueur made from the buds of local pine trees. Now, the only thing more interesting than the story behind this tiny bottle is the tiny bottle itself. I mean, look at it, it's, it's a tiny tree stump. The cut ends of these branches, they're actual wood. There's moss and lichen all on this dark brown textured bark. It is absolutely fascinating and adorable. It is also the cause of a controversy and competing claims about whose liqueur de sapin is the real, original, true liqueur de sapin. It's a super confusing story, but I've tried my best to make some sense of it. In 1900, two men, Guy Armand and Florentine Cousin, went into business together and started a distillery in Pontarlier. Guy Armand had the land and distilling experience, but Florentine Cousin had the money, so the distillery was named after him, but reversed, Cousin Florentine. They quickly got to work filling the growing demand for absinthe, but also made brandy and other liqueurs, including inventing this particular style of pine liqueur. The Cousin Florentine distillery seems to have done pretty well for itself. They had some really cool looking business cards and letterhead, all of which feature the Grand Liqueur de Sapin de Montjura, the exact same words as appear on my bottle. The business cards have a fantastic engraving of a bottle that looks pretty much identical to mine. But here's where it starts to get confusing. So far as I can tell, this style of pine liqueur became popular in the region and other distillers started making their own. And then they fought over who should get the credit for it. My bottle credits, in big letters, Cousin Florentine Inventor above the distillery details. The maker of the bottle, a distillery named Denisette Klonger, claims that they purchased the recipe from Cousin Florentine, and so they are making the product according to its original true recipe. Given the order of the names, I assume they bought it from the distillery, not the person. Florentine Cousin, the person, died in 1907, although the source I found for all this says that the distillery that bore his name retained some affiliation with his widow through 1909. And I think that must be the point that they changed their name to Distillery Guy. Now, I don't know when Denisette Klonger started making the Grand Liqueur de Sapin de Montjura, but it had to have been sometime between 1900 and 1909. Because in 1909, the newly rechristened Distillery Guy trademarked a product called Le Vrai Sapin, which means the true Sapin, for those of you who don't speak French. Now, nobody is going to do that if there's not some intense rivalry going on already. I am reminded of the whole Ray's Original Pizza, Famous Ray's Pizza, and World Famous Original Ray's Pizza situation in New York City. So I had to try to figure out what happened. But I hear the internet likes short videos better, so you'll have to check out my next video for the rest of the story. Or if you can't wait till tomorrow, you can always visit MyTinyBottles.com to read the blog post or listen to the podcast. Mm -hmm.